Moments with Puzz, brought to you by Get Your Ass to Work, something that everyone can enjoy. Now on to the show. Welcome to the Get Your Ass to Work podcast. This is episode number 20. Today we're talking about theft and because we're talking about business, typically we're going to talk about employee theft. And if you've ever owned a business, if you've ever managed a business, if you've even worked in a business, at some point you are going to come across someone who is either stealing from you, stealing from the company, or you've experienced this several fucking times. Because let's face it, when people start to run low on money, they make terrible fucking decisions about theft, about stealing, about honesty, integrity. All that shit goes right out the fucking window as soon as people start to run low on money. Now, not everybody. Not everybody. But there are a large enough people out there that you are going to come across this. And I'm going to share this story because this is how I ineffectively ineffectively dealt with an employee who stole from me in this past year and what I could have done better in order to make sure that this person is not able to go fucking rip off other people. And the reason why I'm telling this story is because I fucked up. I fucked up and thought that I was doing the right thing for my business and the right thing for the people in my business and was letting things go and moving on and taking it on the chin and being like, yep, I'm in business, this is gonna happen. But you know what, I didn't take action and here's what happened. That person went and ripped somebody else off, who I knew, by the way, who I know, they went out and ripped them off because I took the low road. I took the easy way out. I ignored the problem in my mind and moved on from it and it happened to someone else and this is the story on why you cannot overlook the small things because the small things turn into big things and then the big things start to spread like fucking cancer and it's going to not only affect you but it's going to affect other people you know and if you don't give a fuck fine whatever this isn't the right podcast for you anyway if you don't care about other people you know what? That's fucking sad. However, if you do care about other people, you know, getting ripped off, here's why you can't overlook small things like 20 bucks missing here and there because that turns into a thousand bucks. It turns into several thousand dollars. And the next thing you know, they're going and stealing from somebody who cannot afford to lose a thousand dollars. They cannot afford to lose even $500. So I had this employee who was working with me and took this person in, trained them from the ground up, spent a ton of time with them, knew their person's family, uh, went to lunches and dinners, and I really saw a ton of potential in this person. Um, this person went to church and was, you know, uh, used to sing at a church and did, you know, all these things that would lead you to believe that they're just an amazing, magnificent person. And for the time being, they were, right? They, they were great. But little things started to be noticed within uh, other people who were working with me. And they, they did tip me off to it. And what they said was, hey, did you notice so-and-so sh showed up to work today with new clothes on? I said, no, I didn't notice that. And they're like, well, this person's always complaining about money. Um, why are they showing up to work with new clothes on? It was, it was a really small thing at the time because I would have never have expected it. And I should have paid attention. And I should have taken more notice and maybe probed it a little bit more. But it just didn't hit the radar. Went one in, in one ear, out the other, moved on from it. So... I was grooming this person in, in my mind, you know, the, the story on the other side could have been complete opposite, but in my mind, I was grooming this person to become a kick-ass real estate agent 
to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this person had some financial problems, a very, very troubling situation for this person. And of course, I'd help them out. Uh, at some points, um, they'd come up short on some rent money. I'd help them out. They never asked for it, but I, I would just do it uh, as they would. I could see the stress levels and I knew that this person was going to be great at real estate and I thought I was making a great investment. And what I really learned was that people who were just having continual money problems are usually making bad decisions somewhere. And those bad decisions, if not rectified, are going to turn into worse decisions very soon. So <clears throat> what I didn't do properly is pay attention to my finances. And it was only a short amount of time, but it was you know a two month span where I wasn't paying super close attention. And it was actually just really a 30 day period where um, I didn't catch little things, but they turned into big things within 30 days. And uh, the warning sign for me was, is this person quit and disappeared and it was before I had a chance to look at the month's finances to see what they were doing uh, with, with the company credit card, charged up some, a few items, and disappeared. And so at the time, I am an independent contractor, but I went to the broker of the company, let them know what happened, showed them proof. They kind of swept it under the rug as well. And so my theory was is, hey, People are going to try to take advantage of you. People are going to steal from you. Move on. You know, take it as it's your fault, meaning me. It is my fault that they stole from me because I could have paid closer attention. I could have been in better communication. There's a lot of things I could have done to make, make sure that that never happened. But it did happen. And you know what? I'm just going to move on. I'm not going to come after this person for any sort of money. I don't want anything back from them. I just want them to move the fuck on and never show their fucking face again and disappear. And that's wrong. And that's what I did and it was wrong and here's why. Because what I allowed this person to do was basically have no consequences. Did I go tell the people who I thought were in charge and were in control and probably could have done something. Yes, I did. I let them know what happened and they decided not to do anything about it. And when they decided not to do anything about it, I said, fine, if you guys aren't gonna do anything about it, now you know I'm moving on with my business and I've gotta rebuild and it was the wrong thing to do. I should have taken that further because this person went straight from me to the next person who I know, I know who they went and started to work with and then stole from them as well. And I let that happen. So it almost comes down to at what, at what level am I responsible for their actions? Because I let it happen. And I'm going to say this. You can't sweep the shit under the rug. You cannot let it go. You cannot pretend it didn't happen. Because if you do, people like that will go steal from someone else. They'll go rip someone else off. They'll go take advantage of somebody else. And in my mind, I took the easy way out because I was not proactive and I let it slide. I let it go and I didn't take it any further like I should have. And in a way, I feel responsible because I let this person go on to the next. So from now on. Anybody who decides to steal or pull some shady shit or is unethical in any way, let's just say we're not going to let it go. And it's not going to just disappear. And I hope that for all of you who have people in your life, it could be a friend, a family member, a coworker, it could be your son, your daughter, your grandson. It could be your grandma. It could be your mother. And I'm going to say this. At some point, somebody's going to steal from you. And if you let it go, you can be okay with it. But are you okay with what that person is going to do to the next person? You might be okay with the fact that this person stole from you. You might be able to handle the theft, as I could. Was not a big deal. Did not put me in financial distress. 
but are you okay with them doing it to the next person? So, as we always say on this podcast, get your ass back to work and don't be a fucking thief. (laughs) Go fucking earn something, you bum. All right, thanks for listening, guys. We'll talk to you next week. (laughs) 